And Luke, I know we cannot shake this heat. Hopefully, maybe by the time Halloween comes around and trick-or-treaters are out again, we might have a chance. Yeah, I mean, we certainly hope so. And when it comes to me, at least, I like, you know, the temperatures to reflect what time of year it's going to be, especially during the holidays. So hopefully when Halloween season comes around, it feels a little bit more like fall like not how we felt today with a high temperature at 80 and actually tomorrow will likely run a little bit warmer than that. We'll be very warm tomorrow with a high temperature forecasted in the lower 80s. And then come Monday, it's going to be impact weather, and that's for the potential of rain. So that's really good news for us here. It's been 26 days without rainfall. Today will actually make it 27 days. And then come Sunday with no rainfall in the forecast, that would be 28 days before we get to Monday. Uh, but some other good news is more fall-like temperatures will be on the way for Wednesday and Thursday, but it's going to be a quick hit of it before we kind of just warm back up yet again. All right, so let's walk through this here on Storm Predictor, just these next few days here. Overnight tonight, still that little southwest breeze that could be a bit noticeable, but that brings us the warmth as we go through the day tomorrow. Really helps us uh, bring those warmer temperatures as it's a lot of warmer air in the southwest right now. All right, so notice that rain down to northern kind of central western Kansas as we get to the day early on Monday. That's going to start scooting its way up here into our neck of the woods sometime Monday afternoon, more likely into the evening. You'll notice clouds will increase during that time. And here's our best shot of getting rain kind of late in the evening, 7 o'clock, before it becomes very spotty as it really weakens and just kind of that complex just spins over us uh, during the overnight hours and into Tuesday morning. And then once we get to Tuesday afternoon, a lot of sunshine will actually warm up because we still have a south wind. But notice a cold front will be on its way, and that will bring the cooler temperatures in for Wednesday and Thursday. In terms of the rain potential we could see for the evening on Monday, uh, the further south and west you live, the better shot you have at maybe getting two tenths of an inch. But it's very spotty, and it's going to be likely that you might not even get a tenth of an inch of rainfall. And some of us, maybe just a trace of rainfall. But outside right now, it's a really nice Saturday evening, 61 degrees. The dew point's fairly dry at 46. Here's that little area of spin, and that's our system that's going to slowly make its way up to the north and east and affect us on Monday. But for now, we're just extremely quiet outside, and it's a really good Saturday night forecast with pretty much clear skies in the works right now and temperatures sitting in the lower 60s, although Lincoln a bit warm, right? at 70 degrees, but we're certainly going to cool a bit tonight. And uh, not to the average low temperature. I mean, temperature is sitting in the mid 50s, the average about 42. The average high temperature sitting in the mid 60s this time of year. We're going to be sitting in the almost the mid 80s for a high temperature tomorrow. So there's certainly a big difference uh, between where we should be on average this time of year and what we're going to feel these next three, four days. But then that cold front comes through Wednesday or excuse me, it comes through Tuesday, but it affects our temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday as we get into the mid 60s. Now that may feel a bit more like fall, but we will warm back up for uh, next weekend. But the big story for us is just the warmer weather on Sunday and then Monday. Man, we really need that rainfall with the drought like conditions. Uh, that would certainly be helpful to us. Absolutely. Keeping our fingers crossed that we see some of that rain here in the yes. metro and throughout the state.